Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started. So the first prerequisite of installing IntelliJ IDEA on your Ubuntu operating system is you need to have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So to check whether Java is installed on your Ubuntu operating system, you can open your terminal by just pressing Control alt t or by just going to your applications menu and here you can search for terminal and open the terminal from here. So once your terminal is open, you just need to type uh, Java hyphen hyphen version here and if it shows uh, this kind of output, then Java is installed. Otherwise, if Java is not installed, you need to install Java. I have already created one video about how to install Java on your Ubuntu operating system. So I will put the link of the video in the description so you can watch that video. And once Java is installed on your Ubuntu operating system, we are ready to install IntelliJ IDEA. So now we are going to check which is the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA available for the download. So I'm going to just search for IntelliJ IDEA. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash idea so I'm going to just uh, click on this link and then straight away I can see this download button so I'm going to just click on the download button we are not going to download the IntelliJ idea tar.gz file from here I just want to see the latest version which is available which is 20.3.2 at the time of making this video right so now we are going to use a utility called snap in order to install IntelliJ IDEA because it's simple to use and it will allow you to install IntelliJ IDEA very easily and without any hassle. So once again open your terminal and I'm going to clear this terminal and here you just need to uh, write snap and then find and then inside these double quotes you can search for any utility you want to install using snap so i'm going to just write uh, intellij here and then press enter and it's going to find all the uh, utilities related to intellij idea i can see uh, this version which is intellij idea community which we want so we don't want to install the ultimate version which is the paid version we want to install the community version which is the open source version you can see here this is free and open source right so we will install the community version and the version is also the latest which is available so uh, when we use snap it's going to uh, just install the latest available version so in order to install IntelliJ IDEA community, you just need to write sudo snap install and then whatever uh, software you want to install. In our case, we want to choose the first uh, option, which is IntelliJ IDEA community. And then uh, you just need to write hyphen hyphen classic, which is the note here, right? And then press enter and then provide your Ubuntu's password and then press enter, which is going to start the installation of this IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on our Ubuntu operating system. So I will wait for the download to complete. So after some time, you will see uh, this message which says IntelliJ IDEA Community version 20.3.2 from JetBrains is installed. So once you see this message, you can go to your applications section and then you can either search for uh, IntelliJ or you will be directly able to see this uh, IntelliJ icon here, right? So just uh, click on this IntelliJ IDEA icon and I'm going to minimize this terminal and you can see IntelliJ IDEA IDE is starting and now you can see uh, this window where you can uh, create projects, you can customize IntelliJ IDEA, you can also install additional plugins on your IntelliJ IDEA IDE using this plugins section and also you can uh, use this uh, learn IntelliJ IDEA 
to learn about IntelliJ IDEA, right? So we are going to create a new uh, project, which will be a new Java project. So just select projects here and then click on new project. And once this window opens, we are going to select Java here. By default, you can see uh, IntelliJ IDEA detects your Java version on your Ubuntu operating system and shows you. So if you want to uh, download different JDK or use different version, you can choose it from here and then you can click on next and we are going to create the command line app so we are going to just check this checkbox and then click on next and here you can uh, provide the name of your project so I'm going to name my project as hello and then I'm going to click on finish button which is going to create my project and now IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been started on my Ubuntu operating system on the left hand side you will be able to see the project view also every day or whenever you start IntelliJ IDEA it's going to give you tip of the day you can just close this and you can just click on the project uh, option to see your project structure here so you can see I have uh, this uh, hello world project and inside my source directory I have this uh, main.java class and inside my main.java class I have this public static void main method right so here what I can do I can just uh, write my code so inside this main method whenever you want to let's say just test it you can just write s out here and then you can just press enter which is going to uh, just give you this uh, code which is system out print line and inside this parenthesis I can just uh, write uh, hello world so let me just uh, print hello world here and once uh, you are done with your code you can save your code and then you can just click on this run button which is going to uh, run your code so before that we can also build our uh, project so now the project is built you can see build completed successfully and I'm going to just click on the run button which is going to run my app and show me the output in this terminal which says hello world right so this is how you can download and install IntelliJ IDEA on your Ubuntu operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video